I'm Director of Athletics Dean Huppert and I'm here with the head coach of the Mishawaka Cayman, Keith Kinder. It's the Keith Kinder Coaches Show sponsored by Indiana Army National Guard. Another big game coming up this week. Anytime you talk NIC North, it's a big game. It really is. It doesn't seem to let up at all. Um, and with, with what happened last week, I think we were able to put ourselves back in the conversation to, to potentially win the conference championship, depending if you know New Prairie can stumble uh, in the next three weeks. So um, we've got our work cut out for us this week. The record does not indicate how good St. Joe is. Um, they're good on both sides of the ball. They've just kind of been unfortunate with, with the way things have transpired for them. So my fear is that they get things rolling this week and we don't play well. So. Um, we've stressed to our kids all week how, how good we've got to be this week to have a, a, a shot to win. You look at that team and some of the same names are back from a great team from a year ago, Driscoll and Kelly. I mean, the names are there. When you go into a game like that, you stay consistent during the week, but is there a different message on that Friday night? No, the message is still the same. Like to us, it's a conference championship game, no different than Adams was when we opened the conference season or New Prairie or Elkhart Central. Like we're, we're treating them all the same. The, the goal right now is that we just stay focused on what we can control, and that's us getting better and our pl us playing to our, our capabilities. I know this is your coach's show, this is your team, but you get some assistant coaches who've done an amazing job for years. How much do you lean on those guys, and especially a year where you've got a baby that's a couple weeks old? I know those guys are very important to this program. They, they really are. Um, the amount of time, uh, effort, and energy that they put into this um, is incredible. I think if people knew how much time they put into it. They would, they would probably question the sanity uh, of these guys. Um, they love Mishawaka. They love these kids. Um, they love this program. Uh, and to be honest with you, it, it's a group of guys for, for the most part that have been together for a decade or or more in a lot of cases. So um, this morning we got we got in at uh, about eight o'clock and we were just sitting in the coach's office. Uh, laughing and having a great time and we almost missed the start of practice because we were having such a good time and nobody was paying attention uh, to the clock so uh, those are the kinds of things that make coaching with this group so special is um, not only are they great coaches that love kids but but they're some of my best friends you know and that's a philosophy that you have there's not an I it's a we and whether it be teammates or we're coaches you guys are all in this together and I hear the word we a lot yeah you know the we stress to, to those kids and, and part of our program that, that we don't say I when talking about Mishawaka football because it's, it's, it's even about a lot more than just the current coaches and the current players. It's about the coaches and the players that have come before. And to be honest with you, I think it's a lot about the coaches and the players that are going to come after us. We're just kind of the, the placeholders and the ones that are supposed to be taking care of this for the next generation that's coming probably sooner rather than later. Well, we hope you take care of business. Friday night, big game, St. Joe's, 7 o'clock kickoff. You're playing on turf, and we want all the Cayman fans to be there. Absolutely. Dress warm. It's going to be cold, I think. Right? All right. This has been Keith Kinder and the Coaches Show, sponsored by the Indiana Army National Guard. Go Cavemen.